A popular Butler County dry cleaners located right across from Kroger has shut down tonight and that's leaving customers scrambling to find their clothing. But consumer reporter John Matteris is here to explain why this is one of the most unusual store closings he has ever seen. John. Yes, Kristen, I've reported many times on businesses that shut down without warning, locking their doors. And while this dry cleaners has shut down, you see it left its doors open to the bewilderment of customers. Customers of Martinizing Cleaners of Westchester discovered Tuesday the business had shut its doors without warning, though it didn't exactly shut its doors. I drove by today after taking my children to school and the door was open, so I walked in and saw two ladies in there and said, I'm here to pick up my husband's clothes. And they said, oh, we don't work here. We're also here looking for our clothes. Customers pulling up to the Route 747 business found the place in shambles. Danielle Simpson had no idea where $500 of her husband's work suits were. So like I said, ladies were climbing up on ladders trying to find their belongings. There were wedding dresses sitting in there that hadn't been claimed. And now look at this. We're not going to trespass into a private business, but anybody could go in and start taking clothing off the racks that isn't theirs. Christina Jones, manager of a nearby dry cleaner, says her phone lit up from customers looking for help. You know, nobody had any idea that they were closing at all. Owner Dion Mack finally showed up about 3 p.m. to start helping customers retrieve their items. He told us off camera that the cleaners is changing to a home delivery model and is simply vacating its storefront location. But an employee who would only identify himself as DeWald says he's now out of a job. You're not working here anymore? Not working here anymore. We're out of jobs and the store is closed. Now, if you have clothing there, the owner tells me you can stop by until 7 p.m. tonight. Otherwise, I have a phone number you can call for help. It's in my report you'll find now on WCPO.com. And finally, with any dry cleaners, have an idea who the owner is in case there's a problem. The other big consumer item today, another recent data breach that keeps getting bigger. We're not talking about Equifax, but rather the recent Yahoo data breach. Yahoo now says 3 million user passwords may have been compromised. So if you did not change your password earlier this year when this first came out, do it now. All right, how about some good money in consumer news? Well, that comes tonight from Kroger, which is holding its annual candy sale tomorrow. If you're planning to buy any Halloween candy this year, you know you'll save a lot of money buying it tomorrow instead of waiting. Kroger's going to cut prices on Reese's Cups, Milky Ways, Tootsie Rolls, Snickers, and lots of other snack-sized candy perfect for handing out on Halloween. So that brings us to this week's edition of You Win Wednesday. Not exactly a freebie. I know this is not free, but... Kroger's annual candy sale starts tonight at midnight, runs all day tomorrow through midnight. You'll be able to grab that popular snack size candy for $1.98 a bag. It's normally $2.50, even more. That's tomorrow only at Tri-State Kroger's stores, so you don't waste your money.